Oh, this is quite an interesting thing. Manufactured in Hong Kong and sold by a company called Durham Industries, based in New York, comes this. Durham's Grey Ghost. Basically, it's a plastic 8-ton German half-track World War II. Quite a good representation of the model, even though the paintwork and decals leave something to be desired. Not a rare thing, but it is rare to find one still on its card with the header. There's three versions of this turn up in the UK. This one has freewheeling plastic tracks and it's push along. Another version is this one but with a little clockwork motor and an on off switch. So it runs along in clockwork and the cheaper version is this one but the tracks are fixed and solid and underneath the bottom are two small plastic wheels so you can push it along. So there's three versions and they are quite commonly found in the UK. Normally retail for about £20 but this one is rare because it still has its cardboard. Um, unfortunately when it was new in the kind of late 60s to mid 1970s they made sure that when it was sold the vehicle is in the box as a piece of cardboard and underneath the vehicle is like a hole and going through the cardboard is like a plastic turnkey. In order to get the vehicle off the header card and display base, you see you may think there's nothing holding it in place because you can turn it upside down it won't drop off. But underneath there is a little turnkey and in order to get the vehicle off, as it says there, to release item, turn key inside platform. Unfortunately, the little plastic turn key is all the way down there. You can just see the end of it there. There's the plastic key. In order to get that key, to get your fingers around that key, you have to physically rip open the box in order to get it. Now this one, although the seller tape or scotch tape has been cut, the turn key has not been turned and the vehicle has remained on its card since it was new and that what, that's what makes it rare. The vehicle you can find in the UK but you can never find them with the cardboard base and the really nice header card still intact. Really nice artwork. The Germans and with the G41 really nice artwork and the vehicle it's what round about 135 scale seven inches long the tarp is fixed in place with glue front wheels are separate rubber tires and as we come along that's a revolving plastic wheel the rear inner wheels are one piece moldings molding on the bodywork that's a movable wheel that's a movable wheel that's a movable wheel and that's a movable wheel but all the other ones inside are fixed as part of the bodywork as you come around the front it's not a bad representation of the actual vehicle but the decals are a bit pants and again as we come around the back you can see this solid bit on the bottom that's where the clockwork motor would be in the clockwork version. And around the other side. This particular one, I paid the princely sum of £5.99. Complete bargain. So that will go nicely in the military display. Um, Durham's, as it says in the box, Freewheeler by Durham Industries Incorporated, New York, New York, made in Hong Kong. Now Durham Industries was an importer and they had things like this made in Hong Kong and would import them into the States. If you have those um, 
kind of imitation bronze um, ornaments with which which incorporate pencil sharpeners like you know you get motorbikes you get trains you get globes um, a whole manner of things uh, you know washing machines things like that little ornamental things that look like doll's house furniture in kind of an imitation bronze color but they have uh, pencil sharpeners in them well Durham Industries in the States imported those into America they didn't make them because on the bottom of them it's got made in Hong Kong but that's the kind of thing they imported they also imported a few toys I think this was the only military vehicle they did now unfortunately Durham Industries fell foul of the Tommy Toy Company in 1979 because among other things um, Durham Industries started selling or importing rip-off versions of certain Tommy toys now probably they didn't know it at the time but in Hong Kong there was being made knockoffs of Tommy robots dolls and the then Tommy range of uh, Disney figures Durham Industries imported them in America into America Tommy went hang on a minute these look like the things were selling but cheaper versions Tommy took them to court in 1979 and I think they won um, because I think Durham's disappeared 80 81 ish but this is probably the only military vehicle they did they, they imported things like little Porsche cars and things like that so they did quite a few car ranges but I think this is the only military one they did and it is quite a nice vehicle so do keep an eye out for them they don't cost very much but to find one on its original card is quite a rare thing no steering wheel was never fitted with one but it is a good representation of the actual vehicle and it's never been off its card base so that's the Durham's Grey Ghost available in three different versions <clears throat> and you may think well quite an unusual choice of vehicle for the time but when you think when this vehicle was new in 1969 and through the 70s one of these vehicles appeared in two quite well-known movies in 1969 one of these vehicles was the getaway vehicle in the film the dirty dozen and when this thing was still being sold in the mid 1970s the same half track from the dirty dozen appears in the movie a bridge too far which is the arnhem campaign so it was quite a well-known vehicle through the late 60s and 1970s so a lot of people would have recognized the vehicle from those two movies so perhaps not quite an unusual choice of vehicle Durham's Grey Ghost imported from Hong Kong the SD KFZ7 Hanamag half track which was the towing vehicle for the 88mm gun.